interval of increase and decrease for cosine function. Question is, find the interval of increase and decrease for the following functions. So part A and B, we have actually cosine function. Here is f of x equals to cos of x and then we have a transformed cosine function which is f of x equals to cos of x minus pi by 4. Now let's try to answer this question. So let me just sketch a graph for cosine function. I normally draw a sine function kind of thing, right? It's kind of like this, right? Now, for a cosine function, we know it starts with maximum, right? So that is how it starts, correct? That becomes a cosine function. If I make my y-axis here, it becomes a sine function. So cosine function is shifted kind of function, right? So that is how it looks like where this is like 1 and that is minus 1, right? So 1 and minus 1. When we say interval of increase and decrease, then it's a good idea to find where are the maximums. So if the time period for a cosine function is 2 pi, so it repeats after every 2 pi. So maximum for a cosine function is at 2 and pi, right? So maximums are at 2 and pi and the minimum is at this is at pi. We have first minimum for example at pi and then pi plus 2 and pi, right? So we can take pi common. We can say pi plus 2 and pi or I could write this as within brackets 2 and plus 1. So that becomes the minimum, right? Now interval of increase is from, well, we can continue it like this here, right? Now let me just use different ink here. Increase will be from here to there, correct? From minimum to maximum. So if we are considering before n pi, it will be 2n minus 1, right? So interval for increase I can write as, so for increase, the interval is from pi, or let me write this as pi, 2n minus 1, where x is between, let's say this is x for us, to 2n pi. So that is the interval of increasing from here to here, from there to there, where n is equals to a set of integers, right? So we can say 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 or we can say n belongs to set of integers. Okay. Either way. So interval of decreases from n pi rather 2 n pi to 2 n plus 1 pi. Right. So we can say pi 2n plus 1. So that is the interval of, well, of decrease for a cosine function, right? Now, it's up to you. How do you answer this part B, which is f of x equals to cos of x minus pi by 4. What should be the interval of increase and decrease here? Well, as you know, this function is shifted by pi by 4 to the right, right? So the whole function shifts like this here, right? So basically it is it is a cosine wave which starts after pi by 4 and therefore in this case interval of increase should be how much? You have to add pi by 4 to your answer. Do you see that? So the same thing but you can say pi times 2n minus 1 plus pi by 4 x 2n pi plus pi by 4 because it's a transform function and this is horizontal translation by pi by 4, correct? So we'll add pi by 4 to our answer. This is interval of increasing and interval for decreasing will be 2 and pi plus pi by 4 and less than 
pi 2n plus 1 plus pi by 4, right? So that is how you can answer this question. As an exercise, I'll appreciate if you could write down interval of increase and decrease for sinusoidal function in these two, sin x and sin x minus pi by 4, okay? Thank you.